Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Dental Hygiene with Whitney. Is there a difference between plaque and tartar? Yes! Plaque and tartar are not the same thing. Yes, they are both types of bacteria in your mouth, but no, they do not have the same effects. Uh, let's... Why is this important for you to know? Let me tell you. So like I briefly just said, plaque is a colorless, sticky form of bacteria. Where does it come from? Let me tell you about its formation. <coughs> Plaque is constantly forming on your teeth and around your gum line. This is the stuff you can remove with proper brushing and flossing. See my proper brushing and proper flossing videos if you want to make sure you're doing it correctly. Everyone develops plaque because bacteria are constantly growing in our mouths, which is not necessarily easy to see. I know seeing is believing, and so I'll try and find some photos where you can see the plaque, like maybe it's stained or something. Ooh, here's some photos. Ooh, nice. But sometimes you cannot see it with the naked eye. So like I said, yes, you can brush and floss this off. However, it is unreal to expect you to brush and floss after every single piece of food or drink you put in your mouth throughout the day. So this is a lot of times how plaque forms because we are human and we generally only brush two times a day which is completely fine, but there's always like a little crevice or a little spot. You just can't be perfect. We're not perfect, okay? Which is why we go to the dentist every six months to get a cleaning. So excessive plaque and anything that is not removed from around the gum line daily can cause inflammation and irritation to the gums around the teeth, leading to gingivitis, you know, the bleeding red swollen gums. We don't want that. If you have this gingivitis and it's not treated, it can possibly progress into periodontal disease, also called gum disease. Which brings me to tartar. Tartar, AKA calculus, which is the scientific fancy word for tartar. By the way, the word calculus has no relation to the math subject, calculus. Formation of calculus. <laughs> so tartar, or calculus is mineralized or hardened plaque. Once plaque sits on the tooth for too long, oftentimes it can mineralize and harden into tartar. Tartar provides an even more serious irritant to the gingiva because it is hardened rock-like plaque. Removal of tartar needs to be done by a dentist or a dental hygienist. You can brush and brush and brush until you're blue in the face and it's not going to come off properly. It might chip off a little with your finger or something, but it's not going to properly be removed. Now, some people are more prone to their plaque hardening into tartar than others. Generally, most people get a little bit of tartar, especially on the lower interiors, those front bottom teeth. It's okay, it's okay. As long as you are visiting the dentist every six months to get it removed, you're okay, bro. If you truly feel like you're doing the best you can and you still have excess heavy tartar formation, 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 then sometimes you need more frequent cleanings at the dentist. Maybe every four months, maybe every three months. They'll talk to you about it, all right? They'll talk to you about it. Unlike plaque, Tartar is a mineral buildup, like we've said a million times, that's fairly easier to see if above the gum line. Now, if your tartar is below the gum line, well, you definitely won't see it, but you may need something like a deep cleaning or an SRP, scaling and root planing, something where we can clean it from underneath the gums. Because like I said, what does tartar do? What does it eat? It eats away the bone and we don't want bone loss. So why is this all important to know? Why is it important to know the difference between plaque and tartar? As I said before, a lot of what we eat and drink remain in our mouths after we finished. Back Bacteria in our mouths thrive on many of these foods and produce acids that can attack the tooth surface. Additionally, if proper brushing and flossing are not being done every single day, this can make more plaque and tartar to form, which becomes a vicious cycle. So see your dentist every six months. If you want to see what happens in a routine cleaning appointment, check out my video here. So many people think plaque and tartar are interchangeable. Nope, tartar and calculus is interchangeable though, remember that. But yeah, I hope this helped clear that up. And I'll see you next time. Peace, love, and teeth, Ziggy. Teeth.